Hey guys, this is Melvin. I'm from Jello DSA. So, this is a new tutorial series about Go programming language, and we'll be going through the details of it. Uh, basically, Golang, and it's known as Golang. Most people used to refer like that Golang. So, Go is a language developed in Google, and the pioneers are Robert, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson, sub famous people, and they are really artistic guys in this field. So, basically go is a language it's, uh, it's like uh, it's got its its mother is c and it got a lot of awesome features which make it cool language so why we need go that's the question like uh, before you starting this series we need to know why we doing this why we need such a language so basically the go is the next c c plus that's what people say next python the next revolution in programming language so go has got a lot of lot of things a lot of cool features that uh, other languages don't have so uh, let's i'll get you an example like mm, 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 uh, go to its website like, this is the basically a go code you can see hello hello world is given like i think it's hello world it's in chinese i think i don't know what does that mean so you can see like it don't have any uh, semicolons so when you program something if you miss some, some semicolon it used to create a lot of uh, headache for me no i am free from semicolons so it's cool like the new the go prime go, go language takes care of the semicolon those things new line implicites uh, it's it says it's in one statement so it does like that so we can see we can take an example a comma b equal to one comma two basically when we uh, do this kind of initializations it will be like uh, do this kind of operators this operation operator is an initialization operator so so we will go through this uh, in depth to this and today we are starting off what this thing look like so fmt dot print line a comma b this will give an output what a equal one and b equal to two and we can also do something like this we can give we can say a and b equal to b comma a uh, this is an awesome thing <laughs> look at this i'm sorry a comma b so if you run this you will get something like one comma so uh, these are the cool things uh, this is not only written a lot of co cool features are there with go concurrency concurrency is the most anticipated uh, feature of go go has got uh, great uh, like uh, concurrency when we say about concurrency it's like uh, uh, you can run a lot of programs from a single program it's a kind of logic like that uh, we'll, we'll be going through what those things are and go routing go routing that's what we tell about concurrency and a lot of things are there with go which makes it a powerful language and you know and increasingly its performance has been increasing day by day I and mean, some people a lot of people are contributing to it so <laughs> that's about go so if you go through go we can see about go is uh, it has got uh, it started in 2009 like, like there is a uh, there is a like uh, a lol thing like what this thing goes like if you start typing its name what the time of the go is it will show the same thing 2009 so a lot of a lot of features are there the current version is 1.4.2 uh, basically uh, it's been uh, it's not been much time in the new version came out it, it has got in the new version got a lot of features that uh, and simple features uh, which it, it makes it better than the earlier ones and it's uh, basically made from a assembly language and c so it's a cool thing and like it is not made from any other thing it's directly made from c and assembly so it's a lot faster and it's faster uh, uh, it's almost faster as java and a lot of cool features than java makes it a better language so so today we will be setting up this uh, go programming language so we can download this thing uh, from uh, display uh, like uh, this is this is available for Linux uh, and Mac and Windows so uh, I'll be setting uh, setting up this thing for Windows in another uh, episode every uh, and different one and today we'll be I'm using this Linux uh, desktop I uh, I prefer using Linux uh, pro for programming since it's been it's so cool so uh, and you can download uh, the archive file, archive file or you can just install it by using something like this uh, something like this we can use sudo and get 
sorry get install gcc go go this will basically install the go compiler to our system as it's since it's installed in my system i i don't have to install in uh, one more time so basically it's installed there but others you guys can just uh, if you use the uh, if you're using linux you can just install it by using sudo app get install uh, gcc go go so it will install it you don't have to go through all these things and uh, download its archive and put in some folders it's uh, it's it's insta it's uh, described in this uh, site where you uh, in an ex excellent way you can see it's in the golang.org token star in this you can if you go through here you can uh, yeah getting started that's the same page so you can get here uh, the detailed explanation of how to install these things are given here so basically uh, you can download it and install it like that in windows in a separate video i'll explain how to do that those things installation and setting up then on win windows so mac uh, mac it's almost the same way as we do it in uh, so in Linux, uh, we can do the same way in Mac also. I think it's a bit easier. Though. We can just get the package there and just install it like this. So, uh, we have uh, in Go programming language. This is all about it. And we just. Mm, sorry. So, there's something called setting up the environment. Uh, what's that? Um, this thing, there's something. Uh, setting up the environment and so basically what is uh, we should have workspace you, you, we have to put things in a very uh, organized manner something like in this there is a bin folder there's a package folder and there is a hrc folder this is the source folder and this is the package and this is the bin bin is the place where we put our executable things executable files and package is the place where like when we do some when we write some code we say uh, import some uh, uh, general, um, something like we do used to do something like this these things can be done with uh, this uh, these things uh, those import file those packages are stored in these places so that's what package for for and src is the place where we keep our so source code and this is a uh, different users put their source code very organized way you can if you want to get some uh, code from uh, like repo from the this uh, github you can just put go get the repo name like that you can so it will organize it so basically for this is the structure of the workspace before starting how to set up a workspace like that so uh, in my system i have my own workspace uh, like uh, set so my technical skill or something like go. Uh, this is my white workspace. Here I have um, different folders. Uh, this one different. This these two are the folders which I pulled from GitHub. So I can, So this is the my bin for the CV go some application I made. Uh, I had been using this thing uh, because I this is my new system. So I am in just configured. I haven't done much programming here. So you can see. Uh, uh, colorable this is an package that's all when we do something like uh, go get the package name uh, it's the uh, repo name you automatically get everything installed and your packages in the corresponding folders so that's what uh, this workspace is capable of so basically you have to create a folder which you like you can name anything go or uh, your reason if your username is hacker that hacker hacker or something any, anything any stuff you can give in, in any location though you create uh, three folders bin package and source and next you have to do something like this you have to set the go path go path is the place this place this is the go path this is go path uh, refers to the workspace location so and there's something uh, called go path and uh, basically you can get this file like I have yeah, this is my uh, file. Uh, basically, this for, this is the uh, for Linux users. What you have to do is um, I'll just uh, set it up. Command line. Yeah, in this command line, I'll just put. This, I need some administrative privileges. Put in permanent uh, environment va variable. So uh, sudo. I just say atom atom is my 
texture tub which I use have and then this is an awesome texture tub uh, you, I was recently using this uh, thing called sublime text but I found some problems when using python code with it so I switched to atom atom is a very cool thing so I just close this and open it I'm sorry. Uh, we can open something like in the, uh, in the root uh, you can see etc in this etc there is something called environment yeah this is the file if you get this file basically I, uh, I installed this go early that's why I have something called go path you can uh, this is the if you guys remember this is the location of them you know you can see look at this home hacker technical skill go this is the my workspace so I give go path as go path equal to home hacker technical skill go and this is the part don't, don't mess up with this lines because it might cause you some problem also if you can you, they are asking to add the go path bin as we can have seen this this go path bin bin is the place where we keep the executor so if you want to run some executor made in go you don't have to just uh, go into that location and put, uh, type the name of the executor you can just uh, right away type the name of the executor and press enter like something like that as we have done like pseudo atom if you put atom you get the ex atom executor file also in uh, uh, like the, those executors are stored in the bin folders of the system and uh, some other places but you can directly get those things if you point the uh, this bin uh, location to the this thing if in the path if you put uh, I haven't put like uh, I don't remember whether I put it or not yeah I have, I have put it something like in the path I had it look at this home um, technical skill go bin so basically I had like so I just have to type we has uh, we go uh, yeah just if I type uh, type the video comment or I don't know what the thing I, some I don't know some uh, <laughs> yeah some weird application I made uh, I don't I don't think it's work correctly so but it works so that's what the use of uh, putting uh, adding the location to the path uh, system and also go path so basically we are set here to do the programming we we'll just do a sample programming let's take the atom this atom atom in my atom application i'll put something like this i'll put say uh, package i'm sorry Tem dot go. I yeah, I'll just do it in the proper manner. Go source and github dot com. Jelly is and I'll just make some uh, for for. Oh, it's already here. On Hello world. So I just put go through. Oh, I'm sorry. I just open it. Uh, home like uh, technical skill uh, and go and source github um, download is a hello hello go so basically this is the oh i'm sorry <laughs> yeah this is the goddess love that's my motto so basically i have put some package main and import fmt uh, function and we will explain what this program does uh, uh, so let's so this is the way it's done so we can uh, and this is the basic program we will run this program now you just go to uh, uh, go run what was the file name we will say uh, technical skill go source hello uh, hello go so what is love so it basically printed that out so if you do something like uh, mm, go install uh, mm, uh, something like uh, we just do it like this this is the location go uh, I'm sorry Inst uh, install so just we don't have to put this number of name I guess so. So, uh, 
uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, thing um, I did messed up. So basically, what? Oh, I think it was. I think I have to go to this location. CD technique is clear. Go and uh, and just go to this location. Search the and. What is it? Uh, and hello, that's it. Go install. So it's installed, I think. Uh, so we just do say hello. Yeah, that's it. So basically, that's that's the thing. Like mm, this hello is the in the you can see in the bin folder hello is the so basically it's installed. So basically, you have to get into this to get into this place and have to install. So basically that's what setting up the uh, Go environment we have basically done with setting up and we know what Go is here, Go is the program language. In the next episode I will explain how to set up the environment in Windows and we will go after the Go after that. Okay, thanks guys. That's all. Love and peace.